soul flowing back through my body. I don't know where to begin. Could be the curves on your body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Your girl is back. Bup, bup, bup. Okay. <sighs> Welcome back to a new vlog. <laughs> Maybe it's a little new home diaries. We don't know at this point. We're just going off of vibes. We have so much to discuss. If you're new here, my name is Ree. Hi. I'm in a lot of breath because my big self just went up my own stairs in my house and I'm exhausted. And I apologize for that. Oh, Jesus, if you put the... I can't even talk. Okay. On this channel, we talk about a lot of things. Mainly child life and beauty. So if you're interested in those things, make sure you hit that subscribe. But welcome love to have you yes i'm excited we're about to have dinner tonight is burger night <laughs> and no i love burger night i love burger night some people will lie to you i love burger night so we're going downstairs now you know we're about to start the burger building process which is so exciting chef key the one and only he's gonna guide us to and through let me get a new battery camera because this one is dead. Quick switch and we back. Okay. So, as I said, tonight's burger night. Chef Key, we're gonna, let me wash my hands. We're gonna be making burgers. Yay. Kino makes the best burgers. Kino's the best chef in the world. He yes, is. That's just what it is. I know, I know what I have at home. Hands are washed. I introduced him. Come in, tell the people hi. Yeah. <laughs> but that's different. We got the buns toasted, um, bacon, lettuce, tomato, um, bacon, onion, jam. With very mushrooms. Good, with mushrooms. What is this for the sweet and potato fries, babe? Mushrooms. Oh, mock sauce. And then what this is, this orange thing. Spicy avocado puree. Spicy avocado puree. And we have the burgers, the smash burgers. Babe, walk us through. Well, not really, just walk me through. I wanna eat. You like it? You just doing a TikTok? I thought you were doing I'm gonna do a TikTok. Yeah. I can't do it. Everything can't be for the TikTok.
like y'all get how amazing that food was. It was truly 10, 10, 10. I'm currently in a work jail trying to knock out some reports and financials that are due tonight. And I'm exhausted, but I'm hoping if I get through this tonight, maybe we can do something fun and actually maybe unbox our stuff from Target or yeah, and just enjoy our night. You know me just like a cute little gin cocktail it's really just gin lemonade um and club soda but y'all i have been stuck on this cordium gordon's premium pink gin i just love it so much so apparently it does have the sweet flavorings of like raspberries and stuff like i just love how it tastes it tastes like berry rific but like berry gin Life update, I'm now a gin gal, and I kind of love it because it's low calorie. Um, I can just, you know, have a little evening wine down and buy my business. And it's less cows than like wine and beer. Which is something I'm learning from my nutritionist. So I'm very proud of myself for learning. Um, still gotta get a little drink because life is hard, but that's a whole other topic we can talk about later. When they say she get it from her mama, I must take you for a right body. I don't think someone. I just want to live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Talk about the memories I've ever made in my life. How many days to see? Good morning, guys. It's Friday. It'll be Friday. We just have so much to update you guys on, so much to talk about. This one is going to be real, very raw, very authentic. All is not well, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Y'all, I am so overwhelmed with the amount of work I have to do right now. It's just one of those seasons in your life where everything is piling up. Your work obligations are piling up and... We have a lot to produce that I have to get out this report today. So I was working on it from Monday. I've been waking up. I haven't even gone to the gym as much as I'd like to. I've been waking up mainly to prioritize this report. Currently, once again, I tried to wake up at 5. My body was like, you're insane. Because I went to bed like 11.30. I tried to wake up at 5, my body was like, no mom, no pam. So I woke up 6.30, which obviously cuts into my work time. It's now 7, I'm thinking I have about maybe a little short of an hour, 45, to still sit down at my office and power through. So that's exciting, but also nerve-wracking because I don't have as much time. But yeah, I just have a huge report too that has been really plaguing my life. And I have been the queen of procrastinating. Life has been lifing. I mean, by the time you saw this video, you know a lot of what's going on. Oh. I'm sorry that wasn't called for. Yeah, so. I'm gonna drink some of What I do every morning when I need to get up and make these crazy deadlines and make something happen. I got my Stanley Cup. This is not a Stanley Cup, by the way. It was just simply modern, but everybody calls it a Stanley, so I started to call it Stanley too. It's not. I got my Stanley cup. I drink a shot of apple cider vinegar to really wake up my body, and I make me a cup of coffee. But yeah, y'all, yeah. I spent all. I finished like a one subsection of the report that I wanted to do last night and i felt i didn't i was working from maybe seven to like 11 and now i'm about to pick it up again sleep wake up pick it up again because it has to get done today but i truly feel like when i put this in the done pile the weight that will be released off my body is uncanny and i really feel like i'll have more time to be creative to rest and to actually you know take care of my body and myself i'm sorry for my morning voice i'm just just when I told y'all it's gonna be real. Anyway, that has been really playing in my mind and my stress levels, and that's just where I'm at right now. Um, I 
just going through it. But, yeah. I gotta work with that. So, let's go. I'm gonna pick it, bring all my stuff upstairs. I really want to start, actually, I'm gonna bring all my stuff upstairs. Get started on work. Hey, now I have to make my glorious cup of coffee. So when I go up there, I can work. And then later today, we have to get into those packages because I, I can't remember what I got. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Also, I need to find my phone, charge my phone, and put a screen protector on it. I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max um, in the New York vlog, which you guys will see before this, yeah. So I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max in New York and I forgot to buy a screen protector. We actually ended up doing a little splurge in the case from Apple because we didn't have enough time to go through Amazon. I didn't really want to leave the Pro Max so unprotected for so long. But surprisingly, I really like my Apple case. Like, so I probably won't get another one from Amazon in a minute. But I pretty, I'm always on this big debate. Do people still purchase Apple Care for their iPhone, even though every two to three years you replace it? I'm just trying to figure out because I did not protection on my iPhone 12 Pro Max and I just watched it with my life. Jesus was my Apple Care. And it never fails. So I'm wondering if I should probably just wing it once again. I just feel like I have a good streak going. Why not mess it up? The only thing I have Apple Care on because I don't play with that is my MacBook Pro because these these computers be freaking out and that was too expensive for me not to have the resources to call the genius bar and say y'all fix your part up right now but a phone so much has happened with a phone which is so visible with a phone i'm just trying to figure out honestly god forbid something wrong with this phone what i just want the newest phone i don't know that's the things that's going on in my mind right now because i need to make the decisions on that but yeah welcome to this real raw Authentic vlog where I was just gonna be sharing our truth. It is time for coffee. I always try to drink as much water as I can. Oh my coffee, coffee is very dehydrating. So let me get But the issue is now, it's been no momming, no bombing for almost two weeks. But I don't feel sick. I just have a cough. So, I've been taking apple cider vinegar. Just a real raw shot every morning to really wake me up. Um, I really think one day I'll make like a little wellness shot with like ginger, lemon, apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, turmeric. Like one of those really good like balancing shots. But for now, I know this has really been helping. Oh my god, it helps, but also it's feeling better. So, let me get a shot up. Grabbed it. Make sure she's with the mother. That's what you need. The good stuff. Usually, Kino takes one as well, but he's sleeping. Cheers. I can do it every time. Every time. Okay, I'm gonna make some coffee. Don't know where my arm mug is. So today my name will be Kino. Nice to meet you. I don't know where my mug is. Oh, it's dirty in the dishes. I'm not time for that right now. I guess I never walked you guys through. So this is how I make my golden cup of coffee. 
I use my espresso. That's what I believe in. But I always use open creamer. I'm gonna lie, I'll use this. I'm gonna open it up. I think I just want to show a cup of coffee. This is my favorite oat milk. Found it oat, oat milk in my coffee thing. Cold cream oil is a no-no. I can't do it. It tastes so much better when the coffee hits it when it's hot. Next, we add some pumpkin pie spice. It just has ginger, nutmeg, ginger cloves. I don't just use this for. Some people will tell you, oh, this is so fall. I don't use this for fall. This is a year-round staple. I always put like either cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice in my coffee. It just gives me that good vibe. Let me take this. This means it's heating up, but if we press it in advance, it still does the work. So while that happens, I'm gonna put up my dishes. Be productive down here. Coffee tea station is looking, but I obviously want to add some pizzazz, some light to it. So I'm just trying to navigate what that is. I really am, but so far it's still looking like you know very minimal. Maybe add like a little fake plant and then like uh, some coffee hooks. I think would be cute, and then a little cute little bowl with some spoons because I always want more. I think I could really judge it up. Any reason why you make it wrong? She's done and she's perfect. If anybody knows where to get like really cute aesthetic mugs i'm tempted to buy them on amazon but i know people of different you know sites that are really like more i just love i want my mug collection to be very specific i was debating like previously people would do what is it the starbucks anywhere collection but y'all know starbucks still on the rocks because they cancel so i've been debating like i really want to collect like really nice mugs Maybe I should go thrifting. Our thrifting situation in Bahamas is not as glamorous as it is in the US and Canada. Like I have thrifted in those countries, but like I, I'm not thrifted in my own. First of all, I just don't know exactly where to go. And second of all, I'm just, I'm not sure if the quality is there. Like how when you thrift in the US and Canada, you can find some really quality pieces with cheap. I don't think, I don't think that's the case here. But it could be wrong. It could be lost in the sauce. Last step for our coffee and our peace in the morning. We take our coffee and our little cute little golden spoon from Tina. And we just stir. I have to buy more of these spoons. They're so cute. I love. I will never, ever, ever get an espresso machine. Oh. So blowing back through my body. I'm restored. Okay, I immediately feel better. The first step tells you everything you need to know. I'm back. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Enough chit-chatting with y'all. I need to start my work. So... 
looked at and be productive. Hi. I've just been working all day and I'm still not done with my report. I probably still have another three hours to go, which sucks, but that's life. It's currently well, seven o'clock, so we also want to, you know, be a balanced girl, have dinner with Kino. We're going to make some drinks. We finally got all the ingredients because I really want to make French 75, but at home because that's like it's giving vibes of the summer. This summer, the drinks will be, and write this down, April spreads and French 75. So I'm feeling it. So I wanted to learn how to make one at home. So that should be fun. But before we get into that, I wanted a little break from work. And it's Friday, so. We have a little kombucha mocktail going. Very excited. Cheers to the weekend. We're gonna take, yeah, a 15 minute break from work and finally unbox these packages because it's getting absurd. But, yeah. Let's do Target first. I feel like. I get for me aligns really well with what I want the home to look like. The Hearth and Han Magnolia collection, the Threshold design with Studio Mickey, these are things that call to me because of my modern design style. If you are speaking in the back, cover the y'all know the joke. Covers the side shoe and do the toys at the exact moment of the haul. Oh, okay, so this one you guys have definitely seen before. We just got two more chargers. So when we actually do get the dining table or if someone wants to have dinner um, and they prefer to use a placemat or a charger, we now have two. Coasters, but these are like a pretty marble, so cute. So, we got some more coasters. So, what I might do now because we already have we initially have this one from Target, which is just like a regular black one. Now, we have a little more weight. This one is very heavy um, versus this. And you know, we had a little bit of complaints. Someone was saying like the drinks keep on sticking to these coasters, so I'm debating. But these are stunning. These are stunning. These are stunning. For sure, for sure, for sure. Next up, we got a candle. This one, yes, candied ginger vanilla. Candleized ginger, spice yuzu, bergamot sass, and vanilla bean. When I tell y'all this smells like everything I want in my life, I'm actually gonna put this maybe in the office because this is just my vibe. Okay, yep, it was fine and get one free on candles. So I decided to get this one as well. This is Rustic Palo Santo, a very much a classic. Smells peaceful, warm. I love to have this out. Um, especially like when guests come over, Palo Santo is very cleansing. It cleanses the aura. And you just gotta be mindful of that when you have people in your space. So this is what I like. Other fun things we got, we finally got some more dishcloths i thought these were gonna be longer but we got some dishcloths to hang on the stove just some simple heart and hand dish towels nothing too crazy oh i 
broke. Oh no. Yeah, it broke. Shoot. Oh, this was the, it was like this pretty key fob tray. I need to take a picture of it and show them that it broke. So I got my coin back. It's not broken. <gasps> Stunning. Welcome home. Y'all, we got this. Uh, so this was like a face jar, but it was mainly like pictured to be for um, the utensils. This is so stunning. I love it. Okay, so we have typically this utensil holder, right? This is what we got. This is what we are getting to. And this is what we currently have. So it Amazon, the Amazon utensil holder that we got, it has like its own thing, but it's not giving. So I'm about to take all of these, put them in here, maybe get new ones or maybe get some white ones. I'm debating. But oh I just think it's more of a vibe. Like, especially okay, so this is a stove. Imagine the backsplash and stuff. I think these I might get like new utensils because I love how this looks. Um, so I really want it with like some brown or like all wooden. You could imagine it with all wooden. That would be nice, but this is the plan to really add some like brown warm elements. This is such a good quality. I love it. So yeah. We're probably gonna put her to bed or use her maybe down here. I also wanna do some like under drawer, really random under drawer organization. So I might come, I might use this. So I'll put it here. But that was a win. This time y'all is speaking to my soul, is speaking to my spirit. I'm starting to feel like myself again. Truthfully, I'm back. Very random y'all. But I finally got some new sandals and I really needed these because the current situation was not working. How cute are these? How stinking cute. Tip, tip, tip. Cannot wait for vacation vibes or whatever I do indoors. Those are stunning. Oh, I ordered more shoes. I got this for me. Oh yeah, these were so needed. Just some like cute black sandals, crisscross, simple. Sandals are the way to go, especially going into summer. How stinking cute it is. Target sandals. Practical. $14. Can't go wrong. And yeah, that was my haul. These, y'all, these have me screaming. These are so beautiful. So, like, I love them. I love how it looks. It's like a pretty warm marble. And what I love about it is that it matches the utensil holder so perfectly. It's a good day. It's a good day. Y'all know what was coming. Y'all know what was coming. Me and Amazon go to get a real bag. That's just what it is. Just got some more puppy bags for Peppa. So, did we get her the glad training puppy bags in the chat pool? It seems to do her mind right, so we're sticking with that. We have another Amazon package, but it's over here. I think I am. I'm not looking at it. So let's see what it is. If I'm correct, it's my bookcase, which I'm very excited for. Oh, I can't wait to have a bookcase. Okay, let's see. Can I go? Oh no, I remember. Sorry. No, it's not a bookcase, but I think the other one is. I bought a pistol. But we got a pistol seeing more because as much as we love our don't get me wrong. The spin buckets and stuff. Oh baby, she's top tier. I'll show you her. She's top tier. But we decided to invest in a steam moth because it's supposed to be better at getting the germs and the bacteria on the floor, which is the plan. So this is our steam moth. How exciting. Let's see if we could set her up together. I'm all about appliances and making my cleaning journey easier. That just speaks to my spirit. 
from Bissell. Yay! And it comes with like washable pad. It's the Power Fresh Deluxe. We got a steam up. We got a steam up. I'm gonna have to tie a kino in to see how we can set that up. But I know for sure you just need to put like maybe some water or cleaning solution here. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to have clean floors all the time. I'm, I'm uh, your girl. Like how I got that Dyson. Now I have a steam up. Oh baby. If I ever, not when, if I ever, when I do, now when I do my little Sunday reset. It's me. Focus. Get it sexy. Get it. I'm so excited. It's gonna be like this. Bow, 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 bow. The last thing we got is definitely the bookcase, which is over here. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. The quality is supposed to go crazy. How dope is that? Plus, it even has like a step where you can kind of attach it to the wall. I'm going to measure how it looks. I cannot wait to have this bookcase set up. Especially, I'm going to put it in the office. And my plan is to do like, you know, one day, one day when I have my little YouTube plaque, I will put it on this bookcase and it will be like a little reminder to keep going. And then I put some books on it. Obviously, I have my books right now in storage. So I'm a avid reader. I actually love to read. I'm just not reading right now and it's been puzzling my spirit. But with a bookcase, I can now grab and go on my books. I'm excited. That was a fun haul. I am re-energized. So this is the plan for tonight. Ken already started the prep work, bless his spirit. We're gonna be having salmon and shrimp tacos. So this is how we're looking. I think you just have to fry or air fry them, I'm not sure. We already have a slaw, a sauce. Yay, pico de gallo and guac. So we're pretty much good to go. I'm gonna see if he wants to get some chips. Put up at the station. And the model's still the same. Fall like I want a championship game. You know these hoes hungry, they gon' fuck for a name. I put her on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, you twirling on the dick. I got stuff in this bitch, turn up in this bitch. And we smile the stuff in this bitch, turn up in this bitch. And we smile the on the zombies, baby, you know the game time. Spray with friends, bitch, we smoke them at the same time. I'm a different nigga, so we not the same kind. You can have that look, you can pay mine. So it calls for simple syrup, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna use some lemonade and lemon juice. That's keto. Mm. We add a mixture. We top with prosecco. Blueberries. 
strawberry friend 75. Yay! Cheers! It's good. Star. into the office he already did it oh he's such a sweetie how perfect is this i love the little two-tone wood so we could set this up like maybe we could start to do you know a little design going on also put the echo show up there maybe we can find a plug over there for it but how perfect is this bookcase this is so stunning so I'm excited. Happy Sunday. I'm exhausted. It's rainy, but it's a perfect day to do a little YouTube. Oh God, the floor is wet from the rain. Excuse me. Let me do some control, but I'm going to edit a bit and then we'll get into it. But yeah, happy Sunday. I am obsessed with this bookcase from Amazon. This is so stunning. So we're going to style her today and she's going to be perfect. And then maybe... Today too, what we'll do is do the under um, storage for the cleaning supplies. So it's starting to be like a home. In the next few days as well, I'm just waiting for payday. And that's something I definitely discussed with my reset. But I really wanna buy the dresser and the nightstand since I already have those. I already finalized, I know exactly what I want. So I'm gonna buy those and I think it's really like within budget. So, I think I found a nightstand for like $200. I found a dresser on sale for like $300. So, two of those, $400, $300 to get that set for like that price. I'm with it. So, I just need to like bite the bullet and commit. But yeah, right now, let's just start our day with that coffee in hand. Finally, you know, did my dishes off. So I, got my, I got my arm out back, so I'm feeling really good. Ella has no choice but to be a good day. Go outside. Big time forward. The star boy guess. This Just looks wild, I must admit. Also, finally watching Selling the OC. My plate looks this unproportioned because I love I love sweet potato mash <laughs> mm. it is the key to my soul and I think my ancestors really relied on it because when I have it I feel centered so that's why I just always give myself a little extra sweet potato mash than the average person so that I could really tap into my true self. And then I was telling you, know, we probably should have got broccoli to add some grains, but we didn't have any, so we just got carrots. So, happy Sunday. And this is our, our very orange and brown meal. But she slaps, and that's all that matters. Yeah, well, Good morning, how are you? Picking up for Reno? Thanks. Papa, stop please. Papa. No. Come on, man. Thank you. Have a good one. Good. 
I can't do this with this dog. Good morning, everybody. Papa, say good morning. Y'all, I feel so out of whack. I don't have my shades. I don't have any shades in the car, and I just don't feel like myself. Does anybody ever go through that? Like, I can't have all these people visibly looking into my eyes. I'm stressed out. But, good morning. We are up and at it. It's very early. It's like 8.30. Papa has a vet appointment. She is due for a shot that you know papa vet always reminds me hey girl make sure i keep up all the shots and i need that type of accountability this girl is so stressed out she don't know where she is she don't know what we're getting into and as y'all can see we just stopped for a quick caffeine boost the christmas cookie latte is unmatched and i will have it year round because it's available year round and i feel no guilt i will always want christmas so a christmas cookie latte in what is it, May? Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. Hell, I'm so happy. We didn't get the style of bookcases yesterday because I was under duress and trauma in my mind, especially getting up that YouTube video. But we'll do it today. The plan is to do it today after I knock out work. It's Monday, by the way. I need to start telling y'all which day it is and stuff so y'all could have <laughs> some sort of awareness as to why I will hop in and out. Um, so it's a work from home day. Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Um, hopefully, I can get it organized. And then today, um, my carpenter is supposed to be coming, hopefully, to finish off the closets, which I will be so excited for. Not having a closet for five months, it will do something to you. We have not had a closet. We have not had TVs. We literally just got a fridge a month ago, thank God. But this has definitely been a rollout process when it comes to the home it hasn't been like you know oh we moved into a home and everything is furnished and everything is complete no you're literally doing it step by step day by day means by means so the next priority is to hopefully have some closets so that we can get some organization going with the clothes and y'all i've been purging and i can show you guys a little bit of that home I've been getting rid of a lot of clothes that does not serve me or that is in a space where maybe the clothes hold like for example I got rid of this shirt but it was because I have worn this shirt to three jobs now <laughs> I have no problem with this shirt I'm just over it like I'm like I remember wearing this shirt when I was what 21 25 and I'm 28 like let the shirt go Reno you know it's the basic stuff of that where it's like I, I am now in the position now and I feel very fortunate of course but also very privileged to say eight years later this shirt has served me and i can buy a new one and that's kind of like some of the decisions i've have to be make i i have been making in in my closet and my like space your organization i need to watch some marie kondo and really gain some inspiration but i'm rushing because i want to hurry up get pepper through this vet appointment so i can get back home and get back to work because we love employment it pays the bills babes so yeah let's get into it Violence. That's all you choose. I'm so tired of this dog. Papa is troubled. Papa needs a pasta, not a bed. Okay, we're back. Papa don't want nothing to do with y'all. Um, that's fine. It actually went really well. So she's now, Peppa's now officially up to date with all of her vaccines, which is so exciting. And I'm very proud of myself, to be honest. I need to step it up with Peppa's tooth care. So I'm going to see if I could, like when I brush my teeth, remind myself to brush my dog's teeth. It has to be maybe something that I could connect or have it stack. But this dog needs to get spayed. She got to get her nuptials taken care of. Cause she is officially not breeding and as much as we love her and think she's adorable she's not letting any man touch her down there so we're gonna spay her so the vet is gonna email me the cost but to be honest because of the epidemic we have in the bahamas we also have um spay and neuter clinics i've been debating if i should just do that because i know the cost might be cheaper um, so we'll see and it's honestly the same vets doing it, but I'll still do my due diligence and my research on it But I need to get my dog spayed this year We've been discussing 
the opportunity to have another dog but i don't think peppa i would hate for peppa to have these bad habits and translate them into a dog because peppa tear up the bed Papa, tear up the bed. Everybody got a bark. Every dog, every human, every soul got a bark in there. Like, Papa was sick of the janitor. She's sick of the vet. She's sick of the receptionist. And it just was like, my dog is just out of control. I asked them if they have a spiritual vaccine that they could give her because her soul is troubled. Look at it. Her soul is troubled. So, you know, we could do that. Out, but let's go home and let's get to work. I'm over it. A few moments later. Hi guys, what's up? I am on my way to. Oh, sorry, I was listening to a sermon. Let me turn it down. I lie. Let me pause it. So I want to finish here. What you have to say? Hi guys, what's up? Um, we're on a route. That is not how you say that. <laughs> we're in route. That's what you say. Um, going to my. I think it's my third nutritionist appointment. Which is exciting, but I know like the progress and the homework that I was supposed to do, I didn't do. Like just to be very transparent. Um, I was supposed to like really start to, you know, create that intermittent fasting, really uh, you know, upset my not upset, but really kind of like see if I could bump up my metabolism um by like really eating like maybe two meals a day or just I know I had some homework and stuff and then also trying to walk the two miles a day. May had hands, man. And I know I said about every month, but I ain't lying. I feel like I'm getting beat up. <laughs> I can't describe it no other way. 2024 just kind of, especially with traveling, but me, my kind of like pit stop or like where I will kind of like always be scratching my hand is traveling because it is so hard to predict meals um, fast and stuff like that for me personally when I'm traveling especially like on an airplane like I would like to be like oh yeah I don't need to eat I can fast but at the end of the day I'm on a five hour airplane starving so I know I need to like nourish myself prior to and then maybe when I land see if I get food but for me travel is always a big part of it so that's something I'll talk to my nutritionist about today um just the impact of it because i do have trips planned so i just need to maybe incorporate and my plan is to try to incorporate a more healthier lifestyle into my travel routine so similar to how when we're on vacation it's all about vibes and eating what we like and doing what we do trying to curve back a bit and just be a bit better that's the plan uh but yeah i'll see what she has to say i don't think i'll expect any weight loss to be honest i've just been trying to stay consistent and remain afloat but my stress levels honestly my head my mental is not there so this one i'm just going to kind of like do and then take some exercises and action points so that i can really start to ramp this up because i can't continue to go like like this and i i want to see change but i gotta be serious about it and i really need to like find the time to prioritize it and really create something from it and that's where i'm struggling ah, the scream i let out of my body was real but yeah let's go to our appointment people around me i need to change my life i just turn colder every time i try what would i do without you my charge i don't feel that way with anybody Tell me your secrets, I'm not messy. Steady. Just left my appointment. Do I not look slim? <laughs> You've guessed correctly. I've lost weight. Not weight, sorry. Let me be right. I actually have not lost any weight. I've not lost any pounds. It's still the same. But I have lost almost, no, not even almost 4% actually, but I've lost over 3% body fat. I love it I feel so good about that and my metabolic age went down when I started I think my metabolic age was like what 75 I'm now down to like 65 like my metabolism is finally doing the one two step bro I'm so excited I think y'all understand how excited I am I'm full of joy <sighs> that went really well I love doc 
she's amazing she's a star um and i highly recommend if you have the means and the privilege to go see a nutritionist just if you're in a mindset like me where you really want to see some results with weight loss try it because not only does it keep you like accountable like for example like for example i've been fasting all day so not only does it keep you really like accountable and allows you to have like that monthly check-in but also it gives you kind of like tangible tasks and steps that you can do so what we're going to be doing are focusing on going into the next four weeks i'm walking five times a day i'm gonna get walk at least an hour and then i'm also gonna be doing keeping up with the carbs but i'm i'm keeping up with lowering the carb intake but i'm also gonna be doing the 16 8 fast which i'm already doing right now so it isn't a hard task i've done it before but basically i only eat from 12 to 8 so having that late breakfast and just kind of minimizing and cutting down in regards to how often i eat which is so exciting so yeah either i'll start early and do like a breakfast um at like nine and then close the window early or i'll start late and do a 12 and close the window at eight so i'm i'm gonna be incorporating it and i'm taking it seriously like i really um just feel very motivated y'all i'm not gonna lie because when we was talking about it, me and Doc, we were like, she was like, Renee, you're doing good. And I said, I'm doing good. And I feel much better, but I know I can do better. And that's when you left to like really kind of shift your mindset. I know I could do this and I know I could lose the weight. I just need to really prioritize it. And yeah, starting today, babes, it's a priority. So we're gonna get in our steps. I think to this evening, I'm gonna see if me can go play some basketball or something. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to keep the activeness going in terms of like constantly moving my body. What I really like too is like even when I'm on vacation, I'm moving. So like when I was talking to Doc about it, how I went to New York and stuff, we were still walking. Me and Kino, like we would have walked like 20,000 steps a day. Like it was like constant moving. So even if we were eating, it wasn't something where we could necessarily, you know, be like, oh, we're just eating like pigs and then Ubering everywhere. No, we walked. We walked from morning to evening. So it's like little things like that that make me really proud. And y'all, I'm just so happy with the progress. And I'm so happy that like it's not something that i could say i did in vain like no i went to a nutritionist and it helped me and i'm starting to see results and i have a goal we want to lose five to eight pounds this month so in order to do that i gotta be serious and i gotta take it seriously so i'm excited i'm excited y'all other thing is as well i like have not really been i think i'm going on maybe like really almost day two of not consuming I've been trying to take like a serious detox and break from alcohol and I feel like it's been really helping me even if I could just kind of like not have like have just some dry days or only drink on the weekends that's something that I really want to see if I can commit to because I think it's making a world of a difference and it's trying to help myself mentally too so a lot more kombucha a lot more ACV and just trying to improve what I got going on but at least I doing something right God is Thank you. I feel like I have a praise testimony. But yeah, let's get back into healthy habits and doing what we need to do in the gym. I'm very excited for that. Event since 2017. Basic bullying. Six years. Six years I was living without an oven. To the point that when we opened the oven just now, I was like, wow, it's really hot in there. It's a bug god. Basic. She big shit. 
is a hotline for you. I wish I could put y'all nose in this. This smells so good with the cherries and the blueberry and the apple. The summer tart go crazy. That's how you use different fruits. Be honest, something. <laughs>